So I'm gonna add some lettuce in here. <laughs> What's up everyone? I'm Chris, behind the camera Steph, and we're hungry to travel. Today in Trabzon, we're gonna be going to two different kofta restaurants. Kofta here in Turkey means meatball, and it's really popular in Turkish cuisine. Here in the Trabzon region, there's a really unique type of kofta called Akçabat kofta, and it comes from the town of Akçabat here in the Trabzon region. So it's gonna be a real treat to try this special type of meatball. We're also gonna be trying çiğ kofta, and that means a raw meatball, and it's really popular in, all over Turkey. There's cheek kofta restaurants everywhere. You see them everywhere. And it's also unique because it's actually a meatless meatball. So today, we're gonna to be trying two different meatballs on opposite ends of the meatball spectrum. So let's go. The first meatball we're going to try today is cheek kofta. Now, cheek kofta used to be a meat dish made with raw mincemeat, so it's basically like a beef tartare meatball, but due to hygienic reasons involved with the raw meat, now most of the shops in Turkey selling cheek kofta are vegan, so it's completely meatless. It's usually eaten as an appetizer, a meze, and it's pretty popular around here in Turkey. Like Chris said, there's lots of shops everywhere, so that's gonna be our first meal today, our appetizer of cheek kofta. So let's go and taste some. So we've ordered 250 grams of cheek kofta and it's just arrived. It's really quick to prepare since it's already ready downstairs. They just need to mold it into the ball shape. Traditionally, cheek kofta was made with meat and it was inspired by nomadic Turks who used to uh, knead lots of spices into the raw meat and then they could carry it around with them for long periods of time because the spices would practically cook the meat. But now, like we said before, it's completely vegan, vegetarian, and they use a larger amount of bulgur in the cheek kofta, which is like a cereal grain that's made from whole wheat. So that used to be in the old recipe and it's still used today, but just in greater quantities to replace for the meat. And it is a dish that is served cold. So we are gonna dig in, I think. That'll add some nice flavor flav to it. Oh, interesting. So you can see it's just kind of molded in the shape of the person's fingers that use, <laughs> that they squish it out with. So <laughs> let's go for it. So it's a really mushy texture. It's got an interesting flavor because it's so raw. So. It has a tomatoey texture or t taste, sorry, like kind of like a tomato paste with spices. It's a little bit spicy, like kind of hot. It's very mushy, very soft. Kind of has that like cereal taste to it or like a weedy taste to it as well. It's weird. Um, do I love it? Do I hate it? I'm not really sure yet. I think we're gonna have to keep eating <laughs> and find out. So you can see all the different ingredients inside of there. I believe the dark flakes in there are an urfa pepper, which is a dark purple pepper used here in Turkey. And it's fairly spicy, but not too, too spicy. So I think that's probably where we're getting like a decent amount of the spice from. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know like if he was 
like forming the meatballs with his fingers. So like the shape is really like off-putting almost because they literally look like finger marks in the meat or not meat, I should say. I'm just gonna try it on its own and see what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. It is very mushy. It's definitely got a mushy consistency to it. Mm, the first thing I taste is definitely the tomato paste and the peppers. It's got a bit of spiciness to it, like Steph said. It also tastes a bit of onion in there too. Honestly, it tastes like a raw meatball. <laughs> like I'm eating a raw meatball. That's There's no meat in it though. Although, it tastes like there it could be meat. Just raw meat. <laughs> I don't hate it, you know? It's actually, it's actually pretty good. I don't know if it's like the mushiness that I like or the fact that the bulgur gives it like a little bit of a crunch to it, but not hating it. It really just tastes like meeting spaghetti and meatballs, but raw and no spaghetti. It came with like a massive like quarter or half head of lettuce and all this parsley. Like I could wrap it in this, but there's so much of this that I don't know, I might just like, just like put a little bit on like this. Just like. Hmm. That's good. So let's make a little wrap of it because that's what you gotta do. So yeah, I'm gonna put some parsley on it because I didn't have it last time. And some of this uh, exily sauce. Is that open? Oh. <laughs> Not sure what this is. Tastes like a hamburger. It's like a hamburger in sauce form, I think. <laughs> mm. Okay. Definitely better with the parsley, I think. Adds a nice taste to it. I think I actually quite like it in the wrap because it not only like dilutes the flavor, but it just tastes differently. And I'm, not, I'm personally not a huge tomato lover, so I think because the taste is so tomatoey, I actually quite like it in the wrap because it's not as strong for me. So yeah, definitely like it better as a little wrap with parsley too, adds a bit more flavor as well. So, mm. and the sauce, hamburger sauce, that's not bad. So this so-called hamburger sauce that Steph put on the cheat kofta is actually pomegranate sauce. Mm. Mixes well with the tomato taste actually. Mm. That's a good sauce. I can definitely see why people eat it with it. Overall, first impressions of Chi Kofta is that it's a really different and really unique dish. It's got really interesting, different uh, consistency, kind of mushy. Chris really seemed to like it. I'm a little bit on the fence, but that's mostly because I'm not a big fan of raw tomato flavor, and it's quite overpowering in that respect, as well as the consistency, just not my favorite. Um, but if you're a vegan or vegetarian and you're in Turkey, it's a really, really great option because it's quite a hearty dish and you get a lot. We got 250 grams for 15 Turkish lira, which is just less than $2 Canadian. So it's a really different and interesting dish and pretty good price for what you get. That was a good appetizer, but now we're going to head off to our main course of some meaty meatballs. Our next meatball on the menu that we're really looking forward to trying is Akjabat Kofte. And it's a special and unique meatball that's just specific to this region. Now, what makes them so special is the local veal meat that they use in the Kofte. The carefully selected cows are fed local grass and local herbs and salt is added to their feed, which gives the meat a really, really distinct flavor that's only found in this region. So it is quite a specialty. So we're looking forward to trying it next. Let's go check it out.
Okay, so we're at the Akchabat Kofta restaurant and we ordered a portion of the Akchabat Kofta. What makes the Akchabat Kofta really special is that it's a really clean and lean meat. So what's used in the meatball is forearm and rib meat. And how they make it is a really simple meatball. So they take the minced meat and they add breadcrumbs, onion, egg, and special spices and they form these flat uh, kofta meatball patties and they grill it on a charcoal stove so that's what makes it really special so we can't wait to try it I think it comes with bread and peppers as well so we're excited Everything just arrived and it looks great. We've been looking forward to this all day. But first, iron. <laughs> Let's give this iron a shot. So we ordered a big iron, which is the salty yogurt milky drink. So let's, uh, let's have it a try with the coffee. Mm, that's good, it's cold. Salty, still, still salty. <laughs> it's probably gonna go good with the kofta though, so let's do it. So it looks like we got a, as always, huge basket of way too much bread for us to eat. We got toasted bread. We got a plate of a couple of tomato slices, some green chili peppers, and onion, grilled onion. We also ordered uh, a salad because we saw all the other tables around had this bean, onion, tomato salad as well as our Akchabat kofta which looks really really good. It looks really hot because it was sizzling when it got here so I'm just going to dig into that first and try it and see what it tastes like. So right away you get that smell of that meat, that meatball, that cooked meatball smell so it smells amazing in the restaurant too. You get to see what it looks like here. It's all juicy. It's got the grill marks on it. Mmm. It's really soft and tender. It's really like a, almost like a mini hamburger patty. Yeah, it's really, really tasty. Mmm. That's a good meatball. It's a bit salty, it's got like a bit of a salt to it. Not too chewy. And yeah, the meat in itself, really, really good. It tastes really lean. Mmm, that's really good. So one portion came with six kofta meatballs. The salad is separate as well. Mmm. It's a fresh salad. Lettuce is really good. The onion is really tasty. And these white beans. Mm. Really good as well. You can see how flat the patties are. They make the meatballs into these kind of, you can almost call them like mini slider patties. Because they're kind of thin, small circular patties. So it's really kind of like a patty meatball. Meatball patty, actually. Again, this kofta meatball is so yummy. And you can see there's little pieces of onion in there as well. So yeah, it's really just meat and bits of onion and the spice, but the taste is just pure meat with a bit of onion taste to it. So good. I'm really excited to try these as well. Wow, as Chris said, it smells so good. And it's nice to have some meat this time. Wow, so as soon as I put my fork into it, you can see it's really nice and juicy there, actually. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So the meat is really, really juicy, but also, like Chris said, it's, it's very lean, I believe. So, throw it. really tasty. That's a really, really nice meatball. It's not too overpowering with any spices or anything like that, so you really, really can taste the meat. 
as opposed to any extra flavor to it. So that's actually really nice because you can just, like I said, taste the flavor of the meat. And there's not too much uh, breadcrumbs or any extra filler really with it. So it tastes very, I was gonna have another bite. It tastes really dense with the meat, but it's also not too dense and packed up, you know? That's nice. Mm. It's got a bit of juice to it, but it's not fatty or anything like that, which is nice. So it's kind of like light tasting, if that makes sense for me, but... That's so good. <laughs> I'm gonna make an ultimate here and put my kofta patty on top of the grilled tomato. Put a little grilled onion on top. And uh, yeah, just try it like this. Mm. It's really good with the tomato and the onion. It almost tastes like a hamburger without the bun. And I guess there's a bunch of bread here, so I could have kind of made like a hamburger, but I don't want to take away from the taste of the actual kofta. That's a good ultimate bite. One more? One. Okay. Take it, <laughs> so we ordered another portion because they're just so good. <laughs> Our second portion of kofta has arrived. And by has arrived, I mean I've already almost eaten one before <laughs> we got this. And I am not on the fence about these. These are so delicious and so good. I could eat these all day long. So price-wise, one portion of the Achabat kofta was 30 Turkish lira. So we had two portions with the salad and the delicious iron. So all together it was 77 Turkish lira, which is less than $8 Canadian. Here at Kamalalu Kofta, they've been around since it looks like 1973. So they've been a staple here in Trabzon for a while. The owner, Usta, who is the master griller over there, has been amazing to us. Even though we can't really understand each other, uh, the vibes we get from him are were great and are great. He's super friendly, super smiley. Overall, our meatball journey today was a success and a delicious one at that. It was really cool to try two different meatballs that are on the complete opposite ends of the spectrum. One that was cold, raw, and completely meatless versus the other that was hot, fully cooked, and all meat. I definitely recommend trying both if you're ever in Turkey. Definitely if you're in Trabzon, try the Achabat uh, kofta because it is so unique. The flat patties and they taste so good. The lean, the leanness of the meat. And if you're ever in Trabzon, definitely come to Kamalalu Kofte to you know, experience the Achabat meatball here with the amazing hospitality. If you enjoyed our Kofte meatball adventure and want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and click the like button below for this video. We're hungry to travel. We'll see you next meal.